Greetings, Internet. Welcome to another episode of Turn 8 playing Total War Warhammer 2 Vampire Coast. Oh, such a long title. Um, I am your host, uh, Opie, playing Count Noctilus, currently sitting here in Kaldor's Repose. And with me, of course, is Isaac. I'm playing Aranus Assault Spite. And he is sitting kind of off the coast of Glittering Tower after just sacking the crap out of that place. I'm sitting on the island itself. I yeah. I didn't feel the need to flee at all. No, your 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 what? Benjamin Drakenfort decided he needed like a like a walk, so he you know went on his boat. He's kind of sitting on the outside of it, outside your camp, but otherwise good. He doesn't sleep on land. He's very particular. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a true pirate, unlike the rest of our guys who were just you know land pirates, I guess. <laughs> Reminds me of that uh, old SNL sketch, the uh, Land Shark. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. Or if you ever saw, there was a Family Guy uh, sketch that had uh, land pirates, like they were in cars and they were like shooting cannons uh, at each other. Yeah, that was a good bit. Yeah, I remember that. that was hilarious. So that, that's us. That's basically us now. All right, it's official. All right. Um, my turn. I'm gonna try and kill this stupid guy. Uh, what enemy hero again for the third time? Do it. Hey, I finally got him after three turns of trying, so. As long as you don't critically oh, fail and hurt this. yourself. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what do I want here? I guess I'll go back more into the... I'm just figuring out, I finish out Specialist. I like more chances to succeed in missions. Alright, so first step. We're going to totally destroy this tiny little army over here. Because it's here, and there's only two guys. Oh, he's running. Yeah, he's not going to get very far. Yeah, we're not going to fight this, because it's literally a single lord and a single spearman. Uh, like, a really high-level spearman? He's got, like, three ranks, but, yeah. Show them real fear. Awesome. Now, I don't think we should keep up the precedent of just auto-resolving. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we just see how these guys do against these 101 guys. <laughs> I was just thinking about the viewers, man. Yeah, well, I didn't lose a single unit, so I don't need to worry about uh, captives. I will get a whole 150 treasury. Yeah. That's a coffee at Starbucks. Yeah, that. that is, yeah, 150 bucks. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I did get an ambulance though, so that's good. Feels worth it. Oh, and I got a right for that, apparently. Curse of the Queen's Cannon. I can now get the Super Cannon. What? How did... Oh. 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 I, do that. I don't know how you unlock it. Uh, I can't... You know, I, 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 it's already unlocked for me, so... Oh, I... Okay, so you get it when you reach rank 12 with your faction leader, so you're probably uh, rank 12 with him. I just leveled up with him, yeah, so... And yeah, um, I can do this right right now. It's only a thousand gold. Gets me. I can. I'll be able to get a queen bess. I can recruit it. Um, and gives you me. And it also gives you cash replenishment of plus fifteen percent for ten turns. That's really good. There. So, yeah, that was perfect for you. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Right perform. Undead. So how do I get this Queen Bess here? I actually don't know how to do it. <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, I'll level it up first, I guess. Um, what we got here? Uh, miscast Chance, Winds of Magic, Power Reserve plus 15. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Alright, maybe I need to be... The worst part is, do I need to be like in my home city to do this? Because that would be... Sucky. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I, I. Yeah, let's see. I don't see it on the tech tree. Let me make sure here. Come Leviathan. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, so that's not the case. Death and destruction. Uh, you know what? I probably need to be in my territory at least. Uh, 
No, I can see that being the case. So let's go back to Caldor's Repose. That is my territory. Uh, no. Still not there. Regiment, ah, Regiment of Renown. There we go. Queen Bess. Only a mere 450... Oh. No, that's the upkeep. 450 upkeep. It's a lot of upkeep. Holy crap. Worth it, though. All right. So I guess the uh, big question thing now is to try and... I'm going to try and take this Torless Thigh up here. That way I can finally take this, this like, area. Hopefully then I can make peace with um, Tyrion and just end this, but we'll see. Or I, or I guess we could both take on... Uh, we should both take on Lothran is what we should do. So... I like that even more, actually. So I'm going to have to start heading back towards you. Yeah, you know what? I can just uh, go past Glittering Tower, and then we can both just siege the crap out of Lothran. Well, I think I'll need another turn to get there anyway, so um, I'd say just go for Glittering Tower, whatever you want to do next turn. And let's see what happens. There's that army. Oh, I was heading towards Val's Anvil, I should have known. But, I don't know. I think going for Lothran is more important. Hmm. We'll have to see what the uh, what the army looks like once we uh, get to the next turn. All Grim right. tidings. The tides seem uneasy and force us off course. Could this be a warning from Manan? It will not be the first time he has guided us out of danger. Should we continue our course or take heed? Uh, reef the main sail. Be the dutiful daughter. Minus 50%. 15% campaign movement, but plus 10% physical damage resistance on armies. That's nice. Wow, that's good. Uh, Pirate's Life, full sail ahead. Minus 5% casualty replenishment. Vigor in battle is winded. Plus 100%. No, no, screw that. <laughs> it's a lot of bad things by the sounds of it. Yeah, for plus 100% experience gained per turn for all armies? No. No, because that means you're not going to be using them then. They're all going to be crappy. <laughs> I'll be tired. Alright, so... Uh, do I want to heal up some more, or do I just want to attack Glittering Tower and just take it? I mean, I don't think it's going to have... I mean, it's got, like, almost no garrison. I think you just you just take it. Either take it or raise it, honestly. Yeah, let's all resolve this one. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that's that's a safe parameter. Yeah, it says victory. Nothing died, good. Nothing died. Got a little loot. Uh, let's see. I'm actually gonna occupy it. Okay, yeah, that's, that sounds good to me. The true pirate of the great ocean. Ooh, missile resistance plus ten, iron curse icon. That's good. Uh, achieved victory over High Elves multiple times. Lords over Asur. Plus three percent, plus three leadership when fighting a tiles. Nice. That's all I'm fighting right now. All right, let's make Glittering Tower my new home for now. Uh, what do I build? Ridiculous. Slave pits for some extra income or hero growth, public order, and enemy hero chance. Uh. Yeah, I like the tree and news because I'm in enemy territory. Yep, I like it too. I think I built that in Vol's Anvil, actually. Okay, so let's do that. Recruit units. So I could globally recruit some units here, so that means I could pad out my army a little more. Probably a good idea. Um, but it's going to take four turns for everything. Yeah. What do I drop for things? I feel like I don't want another cannon or mortar. I feel like that's a good mix. Yeah, I'm looking at your army now. I mean, you've got plenty of melee. You probably yeah. don't even need that last unit of um, uh, deckhand mobs, honestly. Like, because you've got, what, two animated hulks, two Prometheans, two pole arms, and three free company? Like, I say get rid of that last deckhand mob. Get another ranged unit. 
Probably a good idea, actually. Disband. Uh, what to do? What do? I could do more bombers. I could do a pistol. I could do another. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Check something here. What? One more turn, and I get my level three armory, and then I get my uh, I can build hand cannons. So oh. yeah, I'm gonna wait. Okay, there you go. Sounds good to me. So, probably be three turns before I can do that. But I can actually get a super. I can get the great cabin for my ship. What's that do? It's the last one of the cabin um, upgrades. Oh, the cabin. Um, okay, cool. gotcha. Yeah. Unlocks hero recruitment, vampire fleet captain, minus 20% upkeep for all units, plus one hero capacity, plus 20, plus 20 pirate crew growth, and plus six pirate crew recruitment capacity. Wow, you are way ahead of me in, uh, in that. I'm on level three. <laughs> well, I'm about to lose a lot of money for it. That costs 72. Wow, but... 7,200. Yeah, you do get less upkeep, though, so it'll make it cheaper anyway, so... Doing it. Sweet. I'm destitute. Okay, she leveled again, so what do I want to do? Uh, melee defense for pirate deckhand and depth guard? No. Plus 8% ammunition for carronade, mortar, and queen best. Not bad. Uh, deck droppers, I don't have any. Animated hulks and morngol units, plus 6% weapon strength. That's not bad. Plus 3% physical resistance for rotting Prometheans, rotting Leviathan, and Necrofex. There you I go. I think I'll take that. I like that. Because I have two units of Prometheans. Okay. Yeah, I think that was a pretty good set of turns for me. Boom. Alright, what we got? So you're gonna need a, like what three turns in order to get that new units before we get. I have no idea. Okay. Um, the, I'm on my three, last turn three, to build it, so on. on my next turn, I'll see how long it's gonna take. Gotcha. Unwise. All right, you know, so maybe I'll for now I'll divert to. Uh, you should probably defend Volzanthal. Yeah. Honestly. So I'll probably take that. And what I mean, what you can do is if if you get finished early, you can just start sieging Lothar and don't attack, and then I'll come in and you know help you once I'm done with this, so. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna go full speed all the way down to Vol's Anvil. Whee! So obviously we need to test out Queen Bess here. Oh yeah, totally. Bring ruin. Uh, I can actually raise some more units that are not just crappy ones. I can do bats and scurvy dogs. I feel like some bats might actually be good for you. Yeah, just to get some harassment, so I'm gonna get rid of yet another unit of pistoliers. Actually, you know what? Um, let's see here. Uh, what? Which is better, the bats or you know what? No, no I'm not gonna do the bats. I'm gonna do the dogs. I think they're a little more, they're a little tougher, you know. And. Uh, El, you know, Elv Archers are still pretty tough, so, yeah. Alright, we'll get that. And that, I think, is going to be my turn, which is not much, so. Oh, I'll get the Morgul. I'll go... Oh, I can go try to kill things. Um... We'll head up here, start exploring. We will damage this building. No, I won't. My success rate is too low, so he'll just kind of hang out. Oh, look who backed off. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised, so. I'll just chase him. Yeah. yeah. It's like Lothran's raising a new army I to the north, but... To the Oh. The Dark Elves want a trade agreement. I will definitely take that. I like trade, even though I'm a vampire. Yeah, we're pirates, though. 
We appreciate material goods. That's true. That's true. Ooh, and I just got my reinforced carcasses technology. Yay. 20% physical resistance for rotting Prometheans, the gunnery mob rolling Prometheans, rolling Leviathan, and Necrofix Colossus. So my rotting Prometheans are going to be tough. Love it. I approve. I love it. So, what technology do I do now? I do not know. <laughs> Let's see, do I want minus 10% upkeep for all those lovely units and minus one recruitment duration? That's not bad. Which, what are you in, the firepower area or salvage still? I'm still in salvage. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I could try to increase my other things, or maybe I should start going to gunnery crews because I do have a lot of shooting. Yeah, you do have a lot of shooting. It might be time to head over there. I mean, the first one will give you five percent more missile damage to gunnery mobs. So, yeah, and then also, you know, there's stuff for the mortar. There's also for all that stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I think I should yeah. do that. I mean, I have the steadier aim ability, you know, in that line, which gives you the, that plus ten percent range to gunnery mob. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've made my, because uh, I've increased the speed of the Prometheans and animated hulks, and I increased their physical resistance, so I'm pretty set for now there. Yeah, maybe now I just focus on the range damage. So what do I do? Oh yeah, still healing, recruit a unit. Swordfish. Only two turns. Oh, sweet. Three hand cannons. Recruit yeah, them. Bunch of seven unit unit of hand cannons. I like it. Recruit them and then uh, start sieging Lothran. And I'll yep. be there eventually. And who knows, I might be able to starve him out a little bit before... Uh... Oh yeah, I mean, we'll need a few turns just to, you know, uh, get them to be... You know, get build the towers and whatnot still, you know, so... Yeah. Well, I am super poor again, only 300 gold, but that's okay, I have a lot going on, so yeah. That's my turn. All right, I am going to chase this guy down. Do it. This serves my I can make it, but he's probably going to run away. Kill them. Raise them. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh, he's not running. And oh, he has, it's, it's almost dead even, actually. Is that Tyrion again? Um, yep, he's back. How's he back so fast? And he's got and a, all these armies. And he's got a ton of cavalry. Oh, this is not good, actually. <laughs> oh, did we bite off more than we chew? No, I mean it's still it's still the thing is, it's cavalry, but it's crappy cavalry. Like the 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 reavers are, you know, they're fast and they have a good attack, but they have like no armor, so they go down fast. They're shock cavalry. They're not heavy. Exactly, and he's got very little archers actually. You know, he's got. He's got, I should caveat that, he's got very little archers for elves. And, you know, we got Queen Bess, so I'm required to to uh, use this here, so. Oh, this will be interesting, all right. Yeah, I wish I had some halberds. should probably build some of those. How was that Tyrion, though? Wasn't that Gilga something just a few minutes ago? Yeah, but uh, Tyrion probably just came off cooldown, and probably just, they just switched him in. Because you can do that once, like... Once they recover, you can switch the uh, commander in, so. I did not know that. Yeah. Having had Teclas die in a high elf campaign before, I've done that before, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do we want to do here? Well, I guess you're getting control of the, of the cannon. Hey. I'm going to be Bessie. So we got to play ultra defensive here because he's got cavalry. Um, Want to just head all the way to the back and make them come down the hill, or hold the top of the hill? Uh, yeah, we we want to stay the top. We want to stay on the hill just because we need we need line of sight. Well, I mean, Queen Bess does not, I guess, because it's it's more of an artillery kind of style. So um, why don't we use this pillar here as an anchor point? Ready. You mean like that? 
Yeah. I'll just put the... Uh, Alright, but the hounds really far away. Gonna hide them. So yeah, I mean the problem with this spot is that like you, you the cannons are literally not gonna shoot like the guns are not gonna shoot at anything because they can't see. Um Wanna go towards the left against the mountain then? Yeah. And go that way? I think we're gonna have to do it that way. Something like this. Yeah. I think, yeah, if I put the cannon, if I put Queen Bass there, she'll be good there. Yeah. I'll put the Necrofex right behind your Depth Guard. Yep. I'll put the Pistol Leers and the Forced here. So they can just kind of run interference for things. And the gun mobs, I'll just make a line in the woods. I think that'll, that's probably our best bet right now. Yeah, and then hope you know. Then when they crest the hill, they should be able to shoot them and whatnot. And you know, for once, we're gonna have the ranged advantage here. So, all right, ready when you are. Let me spread out my guys a little more here. So don't get charged. Hey, let me let me uh, oh, no, not that, not that guys. Come on. Longer line, more shooting. Alright. Ready? Ready. Here we go. They're about to come into range, so let's see what Queen Best does. Boom! There it goes. Slow. Where's it going? Boom! Ooh, that did a lot of damage to them. Yeah. Look at their morale drop. Yep. It's still firing. I'm gonna aim at an archer. Dead. But dang, that was pretty good. Yeah, it's, that's killed half that, uh... Health, the health of that unit is half dead already. And their morale was not happy. What's the ammo like on that thing? Your wolves are getting shot, by the way. Oh, crap. How do they see it? No idea. Wow, look at that archer unit. Nice. Uh, but she's already down a fifth of her ammo, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I figured. That's why I need to get a uh, gunnery right so I can refill that ammo, you know? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the cavalry's coming back for the dog. So they're gonna run. Uh, that archer group just got. Yep, they're broken. Nice. Oh man, Queen Bess is saving her hide right now. That's why we got her. New spell, trying it out. I don't know what the delay is like. Come on, get it off. Come on, come on. Aw, oh, totally whiffed it. Is that a floating skull? Yep. Three different spearmen groups. That was nice. Harnessing the kills. Oof, nice. Yeah, man, that cannon is real nice. Orders, 
dogs are gonna die, but that's fine, that's what they're there for. Watch out your death card are getting really shot at. Yeah, I know. They've been doing it the whole time. Sadly, there's not much you can do about it. I am throwing a heal on them every once in a while. So. Let's try and get him to fight now. Oh no, they're attacking the cannon. Get them. Never mind, they're being shot to hell. Yeah. Alright, they're good now. And I think Bess is out of ammo. She did good. Oh, girl, you oh, did good. She did great. Left Those side's pistols. going pretty good. <laughs> pistols got caught out. I'm trying to have them run now. I'm letting the handgunner shoot up that reaver unit. Magic this charging unit. Alright. A lot of guys on the right side. Yeah, I'm moving the necro effects into it. Oh, they're f they're falling back. All right, focus on Tyrion. You know what to do. Where is he? Right in the middle. I marked it. Yeah. Go go go. Lost my poor dog. Yeah, those are the only ones that we lost. It's not that bad, honestly. I'm gonna lower Tyrion's armor here. Yeah, yeah, the dogs I don't care about at all, so. Orders. Speed up a little bit here. We can get them. Come on. <laughs> Fireball, point blank range. Oh, I missed. <laughs> missed by a lot. Yeah! Yeah! So I, do I get like a special victory for killing Tyrion three times now? <laughs> Seriously, you're just beating him into the ground. Oh, uh, we lost the dog. Oh, 240 that. kills by Queen Bess. Yeah, totally, totally worth it. Just gonna... Though, again, Death Guard, they are beasts. <laughs> Imagine when we can pair them with some rotting Prometheans. Yeah. Just be able to build them again, that'd be nice, so... Oh, goodness me. That was a good fight. Yeah, killed a lot of stuff. That, or, I'm, if you didn't have Queen Best, that would have gone way different. Yep, no, that made a big difference. I mean, that she killed so much stuff. So now I need to get a gunnery right in this army just to refill that ammo. A price on these lines. Um, you also need to get those um, technologies. What technologies? There are ones that are like help like increase ammo, increase range, increase damage for Queen Bess. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go and auto-resolve this stuff. Oh, Queen Bess is probably gonna just kill them all herself. Yeah, pretty much. She only killed six, what? What? How is that even possible? But the bombers, the... the, the the bombers. 125. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say call shenanigans on this. <laughs> Subjugation. Not even death. remotely true. I am all power. So that's it. Another army just dead. Level this guy up. I got the last thing, arcane conduit to uh, regenerate arcane power. Yep, you'll want that. And. Uh, what else we got here? Morn gold. 
You should take Tor Sathai, and then you can have the whole province. That's what I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to take it next turn, and then we'll we'll switch to Lothrin, you know? Start moving my uh, Morn Gold down, actually. I can build things. Uh, what can I build? You know what? We just talked about getting gunnery right, and I, if I upgrade my gun port, I can do that, so... We're doing it. All right. Um, that's all my money, so I can't do anything else. I think that will do it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we will start teaming up on Lothrin, taking this place out, maybe building a Smuggler's Cove, maybe we'll just raise it to the ground. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.